What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jocelyn and I've been living in my van for about three or four months now. Um, so I'm going to give you an updated tour on like where I keep everything, what everything really looks like. Um, I'm at home right now so this is pre-cleaning. This is like how things went through the semester. It's actually way better than I anticipated but yeah so we'll get right into it. I'm going to show you guys the van. So welcome back to the van. I have this sweet little tabletop. Um, I actually love it. So this is pre any organization. Okay, so we'll start in this first corner of the kitchen. Um, I think we should start with the drawers. So this drawer, this is like a random drawer. So I have makeup in here, serums, and face wash and stuff like that. Um, any hair related product and incense as um, any normal person does. The cabinet under here is actually all electrical. So this doesn't really apply to my organization. Um, I know it looks like it's wet back there, but it's resin. I promise I'm not having a leak. So actually tucked behind here, I have some cones for emergency and a little dustpan. Okay, and then moving up from there, I have my knives and other things that are magnetic. Um, I do typically have food in here. When I drive, stuff in here moves a lot. Oh boy. I mostly have vitamins and supplements and protein. I have, of course, some apple cider vinegar. I keep like all my seasonings and things like that up here on the smaller shelf. I would say it's relatively organized, all things considered. Um, but yeah, driving everything from the top shelf flies out, um, so it's a little bit crazy. In this portion, I have bowls and plates and mixing bowls. This one, I don't know why this cabinet will open sometimes when I'm driving. Um, but up here I've got my kettle, pots and pans, strainer, um, extra coffee mugs since I keep the two that I use the most here. I'm gonna move on to this side later because that's like clothing and stuff. Um, so I guess now here, I usually have my toothbrush and toothpaste in here. They're inside my house right now. Um, but I keep some measuring spoons, soap in a sponge, <laughs> a random spatula, <laughs> and then I have um, hand soap here. Um, and all of it is eco-friendly, so no worries there. And I have this giant hunk of crystal here, this big ol' crystal, and these mala beads. You'll find out that I have way too many crystals in here, but that's all right. Oh, I also have a paper towel dispenser here and a hand towel here. Um, I typically have a dish rag here as well. We're gonna open this. In here, my trash is full. Um, this is where I have my gray water and my fresh water behind it. Um, I also keep extra water bottles, propane, and cleaning spray back here. Now here, as you may know, we have the Coleman stove. And then, ooh, underneath I have three drawers. This first one has silverware and some random bags for the grocery store back there. Number two is a bit crazy right now. I have things like tea, measuring cups, um, bottle opener, can opener, a bunch of things in there. And the third drawer has extra cups and reusable Ziploc baggies, just miscellaneous. Um, then I have this refrigerator that's on a drawer and I have a cutting board behind it that always kind of stays there. I have nothing in the fridge right now because it was broken. We just fixed it. So it's empty, otherwise I would show you that as well. Moving over here, I have this rack of things behind the passenger chair. I have lots of notebooks up here. I also keep my masks right here. In this area, I have my GoPro, bug spray, sunscreen. Bottom section is all woo-woo stuff. So <laughs> I have several sets of angel slash oracle cards. I also have my tarot deck in here. Um, and that's that. Up here, I keep sweaters, sweatshirts, and extra towels. And then up here, I don't really store anything. Um, I have like CDs and some lotion. I also have my beginning of a collection of patches, which is inspired by Jack and Emma. Um, I'll put their Instagram below, they're freaking awesome. Over here, I usually have plants on these two screws, um, but it's sunny out, so I put them outside. I have this that I put here and it's like 
really attached to this surface and I pretty much <laughs> never use it. So I kind of regret that, but that's okay. Um, also, I don't know how, but we get some leaking that happens on here. So that's why it looks like that. Now moving into clothing. This is gonna be kind of difficult to show you guys because it's such a small space, but here I have my little closet. Um, I have way too much stuff. I don't really know how to get rid of it all, but I have jackets, um, flannel, some dresses, um, and then some fancier shirts. <laughs> and then I have all these golf skirts from, or tennis skirts from when I played golf. And underneath here, I keep some of my bigger shoes, um, like my hiking boots and my, I don't even know what these are called, I got them for free, but whatever. Here I keep mostly non-denim bottoms. Um, and then this one is mostly denim. In the next three cubbies, I have uh, baskets and then random things next to them. So here I have like bras and things and then I stuff typically my pajamas next to them. But I also have these fancy little dress up fun things. Um, and then here I have underwear and then belts and hats. And this one I have socks and then some little like shawl things. And then in the bottom I stuff all my other shoes. While I'm right here, I'll tell you guys that underneath this cushion is more solar stuff. So over here is my bedside table area. So I have some books, you'll see there are way more. Um, incense, candle, singing bowl that doubles as a holder of things. Then I have my ukulele. I keep it next to my bed because it makes me think to play it more often. I also have this mirror here, which I don't use nearly as often as I probably should. Um, it just is hard to have a mirror in a van, but this is the best I could do. This is like an adhesive mirror from Joann's if you are looking for a van mirror. Next to that, I have my jewelry, and I made these little twig things because I have way too much jewelry. Um, I make jewelry, if you don't know, I'll put my Etsy shop in the description under here I have laundry then we have my bed um, it's kind of crazy right now because I had my dog in here the other night and he got fur everywhere I have this little bookshelf I kind of just have more crazy jewelry crystals stuff now for the part I think this is the most unorganized and it's still kind of impressive in here I have all the rest of my clothes So here, you can tell I have sort of a system going on in here. I have my night sky poster on the ceiling. I feel like that's everything for inside. I kind of feel like I'm, oh, I am forgetting something. On the door, I have this vision board sort of thing. It's on hinges. I don't really know why we did that. Now I think that's everything inside. Um, I'll show you guys the garage. So back here is a little bit disorganized. I guess that's the theme of this is I think I'm more organized than I am. Right in the front I have my box of jewelry making things. Then I have my chairs. And then I have this box of clothes that I genuinely have not really gotten into at all. Um, but I have my sleeping bag, a pouch couch, and a blanket on top of there. Um, then I have my cowboy boots and my buddy heater as you would obviously pair together. You can see I have a grill back there and then I have some a basket of clothes that I need to get rid of. Um, a box of things I need to send back that are recyclable. I have some coolant because if you know, you know. Um, I have a box of just random stuff that kind of doesn't have a home, which is fine. This is more jewelry stuff. I'm trying to find a new way to organize things, but it's not, it's not a winner yet. Then I have propane and my back window coverings. I have a drill, a hydration pack, some protein, um, a survival backpack, and a bag of tools. So now here is post organization. I couldn't help myself, but I wanted to be honest with you guys about what things actually look like. So here is everything organized. Here things are organized again. This area was never really that bad. But I just cleaned up something. Makes way more sense now. I don't know if it does to you guys, but it totally does to me. Um, so yeah, everything's organized now. So that's about it to wrap it up for this van tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it gives you a realistic glimpse into how organization is. As always, 
thank you for being here. Um, please like and subscribe.